I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank my subscribers and all the viewers to participate actively, post questions, and make this as their foremost learning site. Here I'm sharing with you question from my subscriber. This is actually part two of the question. Let me go through this and then we'll discuss further. We'll calculate area of a frustrum in this. Height of a bucket in the shape of a frustrum is 15 centimeters. The top radius is 20 centimeter and the bottom radius is 12 centimeter. Calculate area of the metal sheet required in making the bucket. Now in part A, we actually had the same question with, with a variation. In part A, we were given volume of this bucket. We said that the volume is equal to, let me copy the figures for volume. It was 12308.8 centimeter cube, right? So that was the volume. We were given top and bottom radius and we need to find the height, right? So we wanted to find the height of this bucket and we calculated this to be 15 centimeters, right? This is what we have already done in part A. So this, let me call this as part B, in which of this bucket, whose volume is 12308.8 centimeter cube, we have to find area of metal sheet required in making the bucket, right? So this is actually one complete question, okay? Now, <clears throat> those of you who are straight coming to this video for their benefit, let me just begin with the frustrum. So we have this uh, frustrum, which is part of a cone. So, so if I sketch a cone here, and take away a part of it from, let's say like this, let's say like this, right? So, so and if we take away, if we take away the bottom part and just use the top part, right? So, for example, this one is what we are going to use, then that is the frustrum, right? So now you see, this is the shape of a bucket, is it okay? So this is what we are talking about. So here we have a bucket, right? We could have hinges here, like this kind of, okay? Now in this bucket, we are given that the top radius is 20, so this is 20. And the bottom radius is 15, 20, 12, okay, yeah, 15 is the height. Okay, so what this is what we are given. So let me just complete this diagram. Okay, and here the height is given to us as 15. Rather, we calculated from the volume earlier, okay? So this is what is the situation. Now, we want to calculate area of the metal sheet required in making the bucket. So when we say area of the metal sheet required, we mean this area, right? So outside area, surface area, okay? Surface area, this is the area which we want to find and bucket this area is covered. Do you see that? So that's the area which we need to calculate. I hope the question is clear. You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, the area of this, to find that area, we need few formulas. One is area of the circle itself. So area of the circle, let me say area of the circle is, is what? is pi r square, right? So we know that. And how about the area of a cone? Area of a cone. Area of the cone is, uh, okay, I should say surface area of a cone because lateral area, we also call this as lateral area. Okay, lateral area. So it is pi r l, where uh, l is the length of the cone. So l is this length. So let me look, call this as capital L for the time being. So we'll need these formulas to find the total surface area, that is the lateral area and the bottom area, correct. Now in this formula, you clearly see that we need to find these lengths which are unknown to us. So first part of this question will be to find this length, big and, big and small. 
so that we can find the lateral area. First part pi r squared is clear, 3.14 will take pi value as 3.14, right? So 3.14 radius square, you get that part. But now we'll work on calculating this. How do we do that? Okay. Now, for calculating this area, we will use similar triangle concept. Now, in similar triangles, if two sides are equal, in this case, let me make a triangle here now. So we'll consider this big triangle. So this is 90 degrees, correct? These are 90 degrees for us. And these two sides are equal, right? So, so AA property, these two triangles, the big one and the small one are similar. So ratio of their sides is constant. That is what it is, right? So the ratio of their sides is constant. So what we will assume here is that we know height is 15. We'll take this, this as A. So in that case, total height will be, so we say capital height will be 15 plus, I mean, 15 plus A, okay, right. So total height is 15 plus A, okay. <coughs> right. So we'll use this part and then try to find a, once we find A, we can find this length also. Perfect. This length also using Pythagorean theorem, right? So that's the idea. Okay, you can pause the video answer, right? And then move on. Good. <coughs> so, so we say the capital H, the total height over this small A, we are considering big triangle and this small triangle is equal to big triangle base which is 20 over 12. Now 20 over 12 you could simplify this dividing by 4 5 over 3. Okay now we'll cross multiply so capital H is 15 times A right so so we'll say 3 times capital H is 15 plus A so we're writing 15 plus A equals to 5A. Is it okay? Now we'll simply find a from here okay so we have 45 3 times 15 plus 3a equals to 5a or when we take this on that side we have 45 equals to 5a minus 3a so that is 2a right so so a is equals to 45 divided by 2 right which is 22.5 centimeters so we found A. Okay, good. Right. So what we got here is <clears throat> from all this calculation, A is equals to 22.5, right? So H plus A will be 15 plus 22.5, which is 37.5. Is it okay? So so we got now this, uh, uh, I should say, uh, <coughs> capital H <coughs> 15 capital H is 15 plus A which is 37.5 so we know that this total height H if you measure like this is 37.5 right now once I know this total height and I know this 20 I can find the lateral side correct so let's find, so now we are considering this triangle. Let me redraw, that is too messy now. Okay, so that's a small version of the same thing, similar, okay. Now in this particular diagram, as you know, what we have here is, we just calculated, this is given to us 20, and this height is 37.5, correct, 37.5, the big height. So we can find this L, let me so say capital L, using Pythagorean theorem, correct? So we'll use Pythagorean theorem to find this. So we know L square equals to uh, 20 square plus 37.5 square. So L is equals to square root of this, right? Square root of 20 square plus 37.5 square. So we'll use calculator to calculate this answer. So we have square root of, let me write it here, 20 square 
plus 37.5 square equals to red decimals okay 42.5 all dimensions are in centimeters for lengths okay so l we found as 42.5 so that was expected it has to be longer than both the sides so we find l equals to 42.5 so we know now big length okay but in this triangle we are talking about two right so we are actually interested in the top portion not in the smaller one so what is the small length this is what we need to still find correct okay so let's calculate the smaller length how do we do that we again use the similar triangle concept simple as that and then find it out so we say that now if you consider this big triangle and this small triangle then we know this is 20 and this is given to us as 12 let's use these two okay so in that case we know small l over capital l is equals to small base over capital base right so which we know is 5 over 3 but when you are using calculators you don't have to do all that so l is equals to 5 over 3 times capital l we just found what capital l is that is 5 over 3 or 42.5 so we'll write 42.5 here right so the small l is equals to 5 times 42.5 divided by 3 decimals it is 70 point what okay <coughs> something wrong the small l has to be smaller right so i did reverse okay let me just change this i'm sorry for that uh, this was 12 or 3 over 5 okay 12 over 20 i wrote it wrong so it is 3 over 5 so because small l is smaller right it makes sense so so we do 3 times 42.5 divided by 5 equals to uh, 25.5 smaller length right yeah I wrote this reverse so we know now what is capital L and what is small l so now we can find the surface area of the bottom do you see that so after doing all this we are in a position to find the surface area of the bucket correct so now let me write down what we know so we know that small radius r r let me say this is r1 is 12 r2 the big radius is 20 right and uh, okay and the small length l1 is equals to 25.5 and the capital is equal to uh, 42.5 right so that helps us to find the bucket area okay so so finally 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 so we have surface area let's say surface area of the bucket is equals to bottom area right so which is pi r square plus total lateral area take away that area small one right so total is pi r capital l right minus the small one which is pi r small l does it make sense so that's the formula to work with now we have all the values correct so we can easily calculate so pi is 3.14 you can take pi common right so you get 3.14 so we'll take this common r square is is this 12 square okay then we have plus r is again 12 so we are working with this uh, uh, this this is big r i should have written r2 here so this is my r1 big r is r2 small r is r1 right let's be clear about it these r's were different so r1 is the small r capital r is the big r so this one correct so the big cone minus small cone right so it is r2 times l so r2 is 20 times l which is 42.5 minus r1 is 12 times 25.5 is it okay bracket close 
now we can calculate all this right down our answer right so what we have is 3.14 within brackets 12 square plus 20 times 42.5 square no this is not square minus 12 times 25.5 bracket close equals to and in decimals so we get 2160.32 right so that is our answer so that measures the area which is in centimeters square correct so you could always round this right we are assuming no wastage right and then we are rounding to a smaller number normally we don't do that we always write a bigger number so practically you will need more than this but this is the minimum bare minimum area surface area of the metal required okay uh, to make this bucket i hope that helps so i've gone kind of slow in this so that you understand each and every step right we are about to make few mistakes which normally happens so it's kind of true uh, experience so i hope uh, with this you learn you can feel free to post questions just make this as your foremost learning site i'll be very glad Thank you for sharing.